Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Guide. This is another episode of the Android game in C++ series using the Android game development kit. And in this video we are going to continue by implementing an actual game class so that we can get the setup out of the way and then we should be able to get started with the actual uh, game logic of our game. So in order to start the first thing we are going to do is go under here. Uh, you can see we have got this CPP folder. I'm going to hit new and hit C++ class. We are going to create a new class called game which will essentially store all of our game functionality. We will create that uh, and you can see that it has created a header and it has also created a uh, C++ file. Now the problem is you can see that uh, uh, you know it has not got uh, it inside a CMake list so we need to go here and say game.cpp. Make sure to sync your project if you're going to game.cpp. If you haven't synced it will display a message here just sync it. And once you have synced your project we can now get started with the implementation of the game. So in here we are going to create two public functions like all games pretty much we are going to have a begin function which is going to take an argument of type android app. Because for initialization we will need to access some app specific stuff so the begin function will require that we provide it with an app. Uh, and of course we will need to include game activity slash native app glue slash this android native app glue dot h and in this file uh, note that we use header this time and in main.cv we included the c file in here we will only include the header. So we'll go down here and we'll also create an update function which will uh, take in a float called delta time and we'll implement the, uh, you know, uh, we'll actually generate the implementations of these functions here. Well, currently they're going to be just empty. So afterwards we are going to go under main.cpp in here whenever we initialize our window which means we actually start the window. Uh, we are going to set our app's user data. We are going to first of all create a game pointer uh, called game which we are going to set to a new game. Uh, make sure you include game.h here uh, actually let's include login.h outside of extrancy and you need to make sure you actually include game.h so uh, actually let's use auto here because that's better auto game is equal to new game afterwards we are going to set a call begin on our game providing it the appropriate app uh, and remember this is happening when the window is being initialized and then we'll set the app's user data to our game now when we are terminating the window we'll just say auto game is equal to we'll use reinterpret cast which will take our user data which is a void pointer and cast it to a game pointer and we know that it's of type game because we set it here and we could uh, and we store it in a variable called game now we just set the user data to be null and delete our game because we created it with new here now we'll free the memory so this should create a game when we and uh, you know initialize the window and when we exit the app it should automatically destroy that game so yeah we have got that pretty much done now the next thing we need to do is uh, well we are going to actually just copy this here and go here and paste this uh, you can see we have paste uh, we can just paste this here but before we actually do that uh, this loop might run before the window is initialized so we are going to just check if app user data uh, is actually uh, not null so we'll just make sure it's valid before going ahead and uh, casting it to the uh, appropriate game type and in here we we'll like to call our game update function now for to in order to do that we'll need to actually calculate the delta time which means we need a way to keep track of uh, how much time has passed so now we'll need to figure out a way to do that now for that we can just use the chrono standard c++ library uh, because uh, that's available to us so we should probably use the standard library we are going to include the chrono header here and then down here uh, we'll create uh, let's go down here and let's create a, uh, a variable called last time which will set to std chrono high resolution called colon colon now so it will give us a current time which is of type time point uh, like a standard class that's uh, so we'll get the current time and store that in this variable called last time now in each iteration of the loop we are going to set the current we are going to create a variable called current time and set that to whatever time is now and then we are going to set delta time to current time minus the last time and then we can just say last time is equal to current time so this will uh, give us the amount of time that's passed between the frames so we can go down here and just update it with delta time dot count which will give us the actual representation of uh, the actual time instead of a duration now uh, this will give us as long long while we don't want it will give us like a u in 64 uh, actually not unsigned it's going to be an in 64 but that's not what we want we want it in float in seconds for that we'll uh, specify this explicitly here uh, uh, you know when we are setting our delta time instead of auto we'll set it to duration but with float instead of uh, whatever we had earlier so this will make uh, give us the correct results 
so yeah that's that's pretty much it that should actually make our game uh, be updated and everything else at the correct time so yeah guys this is pretty much it for this video it's a pretty short one in which we just set up our game class here main game stuff and in the next video we'll get started with the actual game implementation and stay tuned for that i'll see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and share this video with other people and bye